For the Sakuba challenge, I chose the Focus Rally car. Uh, I use the Sport hard tyres, as you, as you can see there, because it reduces the P overall PP of the car by about 40 points. In order to get it down to sub 600, I purchased the ballast and the power restrictor, and I just messed with the power restrictor settings and slowly reduced them down until I got to minus 600. When you start the challenge, the first thing you want to do is change the fuel map to around 4 or 5. As you can see, I've got it on 4 at the moment. The reason for this is it reduces fuel consumption and will therefore increase the amount of time you can spend on track without pitting, as the plan for this is to only pit once. Around lap 3, the weather should start to change. As you can see here, it's now extremely dark compared to the first lap, and then it should start raining. On this attempt, it didn't actually rain too badly for me, uh, but on previous attempts, as I'm going to show in a minute, it actually rained quite heavy. As you can see from my first attempt, as I've come around turn one, the heavens just open, so it seems to be that there are some variances in how much it will actually rain when you do this challenge. As we're about to start lap 10, you can see that cars in front of us have started to pit for their first pit stop. We've got roughly 9.5 laps left of fuel, but we are going to pit a little bit earlier because the tyre condition is starting to get quite bad. What I have started to do by this point in the race, because we are catching the front runners, is I have reduced the fuel map down to 2. It will mean that we burn a little bit more fuel so we can get less laps, but it doesn't actually matter because we end up boxing around lap 15 or 16 anyway for new tyres. So we're now on lap 16 and I'm coming in for my first pit stop. We're going to change our tyres and we're going to fully refuel the car. Now that we've finished our first pit stop, we've come out in P4 and we are around 35, 36 seconds to the leaders. We do end up reducing the gap by around five seconds, but again, this doesn't matter because as you can see, the front runners are now coming in for their final pit stop and we're just gonna breeze past them. From this point, just alter your fuel map to make sure that you have enough laps remaining for the amount of racing laps that you actually have. As you can see, we're now on lap 30, approaching the finish line with around one lap left of fuel and we've built a healthy gap of around 25 seconds because we only stopped once.